Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another Bush Creek fly tying tutorial. So uh, in this video, we're just going to be tying up this little olive bug. Um, it's really simple to do. Uh, there's probably a little bit of prep to do, but you can work around that. Um, but once you've got the stuff going, you can knock these out pretty quick. Um, it's almost dohuku all around. So uh, without further ado, we'll get on into it. So the hook I'm using for this is a dohuku pupa hook. Um, this one's a size 12 with a uh, three and a bit bead on it, tungsten bead. And the tungsten bead here, I've, I've heated up and burnt off um, just to give it that sort of dirty, rusty effect. Um, but you could use whatever uh, colored bead you particularly preferred. So the body for this, uh, this particular fly is Dohuku camo thread. Uh, this one's number 13. And it's uh, the golden, the olive, with a bit of yellow in it, and you could uh, you could pretty much use any of the the uh, Dohuku camo threads on this fly, and they all work. And you just vary up what you uh, what you do with the rest of the materials. So I'm just going to catch this thread in behind the bee, and then when I tie this in, I want to try and flatten the thread a little bit as best I can and keep it fairly flat. I'm just going to advance that down, and then come back up touchy turns and I'm just building up this taper as I go. So instead of coming all the way down and building up the taper in reverse, I want my sort of final layer to be the final cover. So just bring that back down and then I'm just going to come back up and touch and turns again. Where I can flattening the thread, particularly when I get to the end of the end of the body. Bring that down. And then just trying to counter spin that thread, flatten it out as best you can and bring it down. And you can make the bodies as long or as um, short as you sort of prefer. Um, this will do for this, for this particular model. And, uh, and we'll just bring that back up, flatten that a little bit there. Just keeping that thread as flat as possible and work that body back up to behind the bead. So as we come in behind the bead, I'm just gonna do a couple of turns to whip finish there direct, whoop, directly behind the bead. Oops, slip a little bit, I'll trim that off. Straighten up this up, get that up. No, no, trim away our camo thread. So to finish the fly, I'm just going to use a fine, strong thread. I'm using Semifly Nano Silk here. I come in directly behind that bead and catch that thread in with two or three turns. I'll trim away this waist piece. And then the next piece I'm going to tie in is essentially the wing case or a bit of glitter wing case. So for this fly, what I'm using is some Simeon um, shellback nymph skin material. In a, in a sort of rusty gold peacocky sort of color. And what I've done with this is I've, I've actually laminated it to some wing material on the, on the dull side. And I've used some loom soft head cement to do that. So I laid out some winging material, coated that with loom soft head, laid the uh, tinsel or the, the shell back material over the top of it, and then go, given, them, given it a coat both sides, again, with loom head cement, just let it cure. So what that's done is it's created this material that's now fairly stiff, fairly firm, um, and a bit more durable and a bit flexible. So to, from that, I've just cut a, a thin strip, two or three millimeters wide, and, and just created a tip point on there. And the tip point will be the, the piece that protrudes on the fly. So to start it off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sort of work out where how much of this tip I want hanging out in the back, put that forward over the bead and then come in and catch that over the top of the bead, secure it down with two or three turns. And then I'm going to trim away the butt piece here and uh, keep hold of that because that's good for another fly or two. Uh, and then just tidy up this cut end. Now I've come back from the bead, maybe two millimeters. And then from here, what I'm going to do is just put a turn or two in of the dubbing. And the dubbing I'm using is Dehuku CDC in, a, in an olive color. 
CDC dubbing. So take a pinch of that, take the thread and put in a reasonable size pinch of dubbing. I don't want too much, but I want to just sort of create a bit of a bed for that in case. Yeah. So a bit of a strip of dubbing and then catch that in at the point where the thread was. The next bit is a bit more dubbing. I'm going to come in and, uh, and just build a, a reasonable dubbing collar. Um, probably about, maybe a little bit more than what I used for the underbody part. And, um, and we'll see how we go. So I'm just going to pull this in case back and then do a turn or two over the back of it and finish off this dubbing right up behind that bead. Maybe a little bit more. Can't have too much dubbing. Of course you can. But for this, a little bit will be good. And then two or three turns just to finish that off. So we can turn rip finish. Take up the tension. Another couple just to be sure. Take the tension again and lay our thread. And that is olive bud. You get a bit of movement, you can you can brush this out, brush out and tease out that CDC a little bit. Um, gives the impression of some, you know, a bit of movement from those fibers, impression of some legs and things. You get a nice profile and you get a little bit of flash here with that pencil piece. So that's the CD, that's a olive bud. As I said, pretty straightforward the tie. Um, if you you, know, you don't want to go through the trouble of of uh, doing laminating this material here, then you could just look for a uh, yeah, a similar sort of material, some sort of stronger shell back um, with a bit of tinsel on it, uh, or even just a piece of tinsel itself tied in um, as a, as a bit of a tag. But uh, that's the way I do it. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, uh, if you try it, it works for you. Let me know if it does. Otherwise, tight lines. Thanks for watching.